Hello and welcome to Teacher Rohu Lost channel. In this video, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner's Book 3, which is aimed to test students' progress. The first question in this part says, complete the pieces, which is from 1 to 1000 number strip. We have two pieces. The first one is having 384 in the center. And the second one is having 765 in the center. You know about the numbers 1 to 1000 strip, uh, where we can place 1 to 100, 101 to 200, 201 to 300, 301 to 400, and coming down 901 to 1000. 901 to 1000. So we start the number with 1, 2, 3, and so on up to 100. Then 101, 102, 103, and so on up to 200. And with all numbers, we continue the same. Now the number that we have in the center of the first piece is 384. 384 lies in this row, which is the 300 and 400 row. So 384 is somewhere around here. And the number to the left of it is 383. And the number to the right of it is 385. Now the number which is above 384 is in the row where we have 201 to 300. So 384 is 100 more than the number above it. So the number here can be 284. And the number below 384 is in the row where we have 401 to 500. And the number here is 484. So this number is 100 less than 384, and this number is 100 more than 384. Let's now move to the second piece. In this piece, we have 765 in the center. So the number to the left of it is 764, and the number to the right of it is 766. Again, we follow the same rule we did in the first piece. So the number above 764 is 664. And above it, we have 564. Coming down over here, we have 864 and then 964. The same way here, above 766, we have 666, which is 100 less than 766. And above 666, we have 566. So coming down in the last two rows, we have 866 and 966. So with this, we are done with the first question and we now move to the second question. Let me scroll a bit down. Okay, and this question, it says, what is the value of the ring digit in each three digit numbers. Value we can choose according to the place value. For example, if you have a number like 184, four is in the ones place, eight is in the tens place, and one is in the hundreds place, in the hundreds place. So the value in the ones place is one, the value in the tens place is 10, and the value in the hundreds place is 100. Any number that is put in the ones place will be multiplied by one. Any number that's put in the tens place will be multiplied by 10. So we have eight times 10, and any number in the hundreds place will be multiplied by 100. So we have one and one times 100 will be 100. We follow the same rules for the numbers which are ranked in these three digit numbers over here. The first number is seven, which is in the ones place. So the value of seven in the ones place is seven, or we can write seven times one equals seven. 
And the second number, the ring digit is seven and it is in the tens place. So the value of this is 70, or we can write seven times 10 equals 70. The third one is in the hundreds place and it's eight. So it will be 800, or we can write eight times 100 is equal to 800. Coming to the next column, we have seven in the hundreds place and it's range. So the value of this number is also 700, or we can write seven times 100 equals 700. And the value of three in the ones place is three, or three times one, which is equal to three. And the last number, the ring digit is four, and it's in the tens place. So four times 10 is equal to 40. We are done with question number two as well. Let's now move to question number three. In question number three, we are asked to write the missing numbers. So we have two places which are empty over here. The numbers are given in the first column. In the second column, we have to round to the nearest 10. And in the third column, we have to round to the nearest 100. To round the given numbers to the nearest 10, we underline the digit in the tens place and circle the digit in the ones place. If the circle digit is five or more, we round up. And if it's four or less, we round down. Let me rewrite the number here, 234. We underline three and circle four. Seeing that four is four or less, so this number rounds to 230. The second number is 471. So seven is underlined. We circle one. One is also four or less. So this number also rounds to 470 and it rounds down. The third number is 896. We underline nine and circle six. So six is five or more. If it is five or more, we round up. To round up means to increase the underlined digit by one. If we increase 9 by 1, it becomes 10. So 1 of the 10 will be added to 8, which is 9. And we write two zeros in the place of 9 and 6 there. So the rounded number is now 900. The fourth one is 5, which should be underlined. And 0 with circle, we see that 0 is 4 or less. So 750 rounds to 750. 300 and three, we underline zero and circle three. Three is four or less, so the number that we get is 300. The last number is 987. Again, we underline the digit in the tens place and circle the digit in the ones place, seeing that seven is five or more, we round up. So the number that we get is 990. Eight is increased by one. Let's now move to the third column. In this column, it says round to the nearest 100. So to round these numbers to the nearest 100, I rewrite each number 234. Now that we round to the nearest 100, we underline the digit in the hundreds place and circle the digit in the tens place. We compare the circle digit with five or more or four or less. If five or more, we round up. If four or less, we round down. Seeing that three which is circled is four or less, so we round this number down to 200. The second number is 471. Again, four is underlined, seven is circled, seven is five or more, so the number rounds up and we get 500. The third number is 896. We underline eight in the hundreds place and circle nine in the tens place, seeing that nine is five or more, the number rounds up and we get 900. The fourth number is 750. 750, seven is underlined, five is circled, seeing that five is five or more, so the number rounds up to 800. The fifth number is 303. We underline three in the hundreds place, circle zero seeing that zero is four or less so we round down and we get 
300. The last number is 987. We underline 9 in the hundreds place and circle 8 which is in the tens place, seeing that 8 is 5 or more. So we round up and the number that we get is 1000. This is all about the last part of unit one of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 3. I hope it helps you learn how to round and how to find the missing parts in the numbers 0 to 1000 strip and also how to find the value of a digit in a number. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the videos, and if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section under this video. And have a nice time and thank you so much.